How are you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, no. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I, I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. Yes, sir. You make that clear enough. What's that supposed to mean? Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Enough. For now. 
Back in Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. Sir? Why are you getting off the wagon? We're stuck. This is awful. Didn't used to drive this slow. <laughs> We're going the wrong way. This is nice, isn't it? Ever gonna get to Strawberry going like this? It appears that I have been led astray concerning the esprit of this godforsaken family. Mm. All right, here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi, I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay, John Marston. Marston... Nope, nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. Can you take the reins a little? I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Gia! Gia! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister! Kill him! Close. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Bob. Son, I need you to hold it together. back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. 
in trip. Go say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then we... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! Uh... It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 